Okay guys, in this short tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use an autoresponder. And the autoresponder that we're gonna be using is called GetResponse. I've used AWeber in the past. I've used uh, a few other autoresponders in the past. GetResponse is by far the best because it's cheaper. And on top of that, it's very easy. And uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it now. So if you guys have not already created an account with GetResponse, um, it's free to create an account and you don't need a credit card. Um, you can try it free for 30 days if you click on this button down here, and that's what I suggest you do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And don't look. Okay, and that will take us to our Get Response dashboard. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create follow-up messages. Then I'm going to show you how to create a small opt-in form that we can stick in our sidebar later. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to create a new campaign, okay? Um, you guys shouldn't have to create a new campaign since this is the very first time you're using um, Get Response, And so your current campaign should be fine, but in the future you're going to want to create new campaigns. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Go ahead and click on the drop-down next to your current campaign. And you're going to see a create campaign option. Click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and call this campaign Clint's SEO Tips. And make sure that your campaign name does not have any spaces and they're all in lowercase letters. And follow the rules here to the right. You'll see a little box that says name. Uh, so go ahead and click on create new campaign. Okay, and next we're going to go ahead and edit the settings of our campaign. So if you go up to your current campaign, you'll see a gear to the right. Click on that. On the left-hand sidebar, scroll down to permission and click on that. And up here at the top it says enable confirmed opt-in. Go ahead and uncheck both of those boxes. And it will automatically save the settings for you. And so we're going to go ahead and go back to our uh, campaign. And I'm just going to click on dashboard up here in the top. Okay, so this is the dashboard for our current campaign. Um, we're going to create a new follow-up message. And the follow-up messages are going to be sent automatically after somebody subscribes to your email list, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. At the very top, you're going to see messages. Scroll down and click on create follow-up. And they have a new email creator. I prefer to use the previous version of the editor because the new email creator is still in a testing stage and there have been a few bugs uh, with this new email creator. So I like to use the previous version of the editor. So underneath the new email creator, click on the previous version of the editor. And we're going to click on start with a blank template. Okay, and we're going to send this zero days after sign up. And this will ensure that uh, the person who subscribes will receive an email instantly after they subscribe. If we put send one day after sign up, then the person who subscribes will receive an email exactly one day after they subscribe. And we want them to receive this email instantly. So we're going to put send zero days after sign up. And uh, here you can choose which email you would like to use. Since this is your first time using GetResponse, you're only going to have one email to choose from. So go ahead and use that. And then uh, this is where you're going to enter your subject. Tomorrow I'm going to get into the details of what to put in your subject and what, in, what to put into your body. But today I'm just going to show you how to use it. So I'm just going to use an example. Okay, and then go ahead and put a body here. And if you guys are going to paste anything into this uh, body area, make sure you use uh, Control V for paste or Command V if you're using a Mac. Okay, and so I've already written this. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that there. And then um, at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and click on Save Message. Okay, 
And if we want to create another follow-up that will show up one day after they uh, opt in, we're going to go ahead and click on Create Follow-up. And then we're going to do the previous version of the editor. We're going to start with a blank template. Make sure it says Send one day after sign up. I'm going to change the from email to my Clint's money box. Subject, Clint's SEO. Day two. And in the HTML body, I'm just going to paste the same thing just because this is an example. And then I'm going to click on Save Message. Okay, now here you can see that we have uh, our first message that will be sent uh, immediately after somebody signs up. And then we have day one, which will be sent one day after they sign up. And if you continue to create follow-ups, you're going to have uh, day two, day three, day four, etc. Okay, so this is how to create a follow-up sequence uh, when somebody subscribes to your um, to your email list. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create an opt-in form so that people can put themselves on this list straight from your website. So at the very top of the page, go ahead and click on Web Forms, and then click on Create New. Okay, and there are several different web forms that we can choose from. Um, later, I'm going to show you how to create your own opt-in page. Uh, so, so just make sure the web form you create matches your website style just so that everything looks congruent and uh, people won't hesitate to put in their email if they're interested in signing up for your list. So I'm going to go ahead and create a web form using the default uh, template that we have here. Okay. So this, if you click on it, it'll show you uh, what it looks like. It'll give you kind of a preview. And then in some of these other forms, you can choose different colors. For this specific form, we can only choose uh, one set of colors. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. And if we scroll down, you can go ahead and edit your header. So I'm going to put free SEO tips. OK, I'll get more into the headline. and. Uh, and I'll show you guys what kind of headlines people like to see in tomorrow's lesson. But since this is just an example, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do free SEO tips. Um, this is just like uh, WordPerfect, or this is just like your um, editor in your WordPress dashboard. If you guys want bold, underline, you can change the color of your text and uh, your paragraph styles. Um, here you have font families. You can choose different fonts. Uh, you can choose the size and yada yada. You guys uh, should know how that works. I'm going to go ahead and click on Apply. And then if you want to, to uh, resize your uh, box, you can do it with this. Uh, we want to make sure this fits in our sidebar, so we're going to keep it um, narrow. About the default size was probably a good size, and that should be able to fit in our sidebar. You can edit the footer um, if you click on this as well. And since I'm not worried about uh, any of this because this is an example, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as it is. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to the next step. Okay, and you can choose a web form name. I'm just going to put SEO tips. And then the confirmed opt-in is off. And if we scroll down, we can see that we have a default thank you page uh, checked. We're going to go ahead and leave it on a default thank you page. I'll get more into that later. And let's scroll all the way to the bottom and click on Next Step. OK, and now if we scroll up, we can see um, who will publish this form to your website. Go ahead and click on I will install my web form. OK, and here we have a JavaScript code and we have an HTML code. We're going to go ahead and use the JavaScript code. It's a very short and simple script that we can put in the sidebar of our website. OK, so we're going to copy that code and we're going to go to our website. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and install it into Clint's blog roll. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Clint's blog roll uh, dashboard by going to www.clintsblogroll.com backslash wp-admin, A-D-M-I-N. Okay, I'm going to log in.
Okay, and then we're going to go to the left-hand sidebar, go to Appearance, and from the drop-down, select Widgets. And we're going to go ahead and drag a text box into the sidebar, and I'm going to put my text box above the sponsors because uh, the sponsors is just our advertisements, and uh, I want this to show above the advertisements. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in free SEO tips for the title. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that JavaScript code here, and I'm going to click on Save. Okay, and then now when we go back to our website over at Clint's Blog Roll, I'm going to scroll down. And you're going to see that we have our opt-in box over here to the side, okay? So now whenever people see this, they're going to want to uh, receive some free SEO tips. They're going to put their name and their email into the form here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and click on sign up. And then it says, congratulations, success, your email has been added to our mailing list. Uh, please check your email in a few moments. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Gmail account and check my email. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab. And there you go. You see that we have uh, Clint's SEO tips. And if you click on that, you can look at and see what we've got here. It says, um, well, it doesn't really matter what it says. I'll go over that later on. But um, this is what people will receive in their inbox, okay? And then uh, tomorrow, I'm going to receive another message automatically that's got day two in it. And then the next day, I'll automatically receive a message that's got day three in it, okay? So your subscribers are automatically going to receive these messages. And in each one of these messages, you can send people back to your website and you can sell stuff to them over and over and over again rather than just having somebody visit your website and then leave, and then you'll just lose them forever, okay? So this is by far one of the best ways to um, sell things to people as an internet marketer, okay? And uh, you guys are going to get very used to doing this, and um, it's actually a lot of fun, and you're going to get um, a lot of compliments and a lot of uh, uh, messages from people um, as long as you take care of your list, okay? Always take care of your list. Don't ever give your list anything that you would not like to receive. Always make sure that you guys provide value in your list and always send people back to your website in each one of these follow-up messages, okay? I don't care what it's about. Always send somebody back to your website. This is going to get you lots of traffic. It's going to help people get to know you and it's going to gain trust in people because they know that um, you know what you're talking about and you're an expert in whatever field um, you're uh, marketing on. So. Uh, that's basically it for uh, Git Response and your autoresponder. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I hope this video helped, and I will see you guys in the next lesson.